Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well today. Hey, I'm Paul Apolloni, and I'm going to show you some of the oddball items <laughs> that I sold over the last year. It, it involves uh, a set of items, and I'll explain it to you in a minute. Let me introduce myself again. I'm Paul Apollonia. I've been selling on eBay, gosh, for 20 years. It feels like a lifetime. Uh, I do venture into other platforms, Macari, and I'm playing around with that right now using uh, List Perfectly, which is a software package where you list everything list perfectly and you can propel stuff out to different platforms. It's really cool. That link is down below if you want to use that. 30% off the first month. Um, I also run the Raleigh eBay Meetup Group. We meet second Thursday of the month via Zoom at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Hopefully, someday in the future, going to make that an in-person at least have an additional meeting once a month for local people. The problem is I'm getting a lot of people from out of town doing a Zoom thing. And I do a lot of training and I do a lot of eBay consignment. And these items, I, I, I've made two or three videos on this that I got for free by looking on Craigslist. I get a lot of my items for free, either free or through consignment deals. Um, and I also part out dishwashers and appliances. Oh, I have that course on my teachable site. That link is down below. And before I forget, which I almost did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, 986. It's growing slowly every day. Thank you so much for everyone, guys and gals, who have subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging in there. So back to this item. Probably this is what I call long tail sales because I had these items listed for well over a year. Might even be close to two years, but I made some serious money off these items I got for free. They were really obscure. Many people would have passed on these, but I had a good feeling about these. Like I said, it took a while for these things to sell. Now, I'm going to go back on some listings from last year, so I don't have the whole listing on one of the items. And I know I sold another one, but I can't seem to find it. I thought there was six of these items. Okay, let me shrink this down. I'm going to see my ugly mug. Um, there's money in weird stuff. <laughs> These are obviously Bullfrog Spa Jet Packs. Uh, I saw an ad on Craigslist guy was getting rid of the whole spa, but he just wants to get rid of it. So he was saying, anybody want the jet packs? And I went, hmm. And I looked on eBay and I saw one that sold for like a lot of money. This is, all right, I'll tell you the story on this listing in a second here. Um, I sold them for much more than this. In fact, let me show you the one that I sold for the most. No. Was that it? I should know this. I guess that was it, wasn't it? Okay. Um, $149.99. Um, so I did see, I looked on eBay when I first saw these things on Craigslist and I went, wow, there's one or two that sold. Should I get them? I don't know. Well, they're free. I'll go grab them. I grabbed them, and these things were big. These were 20, 25 inches long. They were pretty, I, this, it should be in here how big they were, 28 inches long. They weren't small. They took up a lot of room in my inventory, which is not the most organized inventory in the world, believe it or not. Um, but I just had a feeling I'd sell these things. But, boy, it took forever. I know I sold another one, but I can't seem to find it because there was six in this deal. And I'm only seeing six there. Okay, maybe I did. <laughs> oh, brother, I'm sorry. Maybe I did get all of them. But $149. I priced it. Um, I priced them at what they were going for on eBay, what I saw the two that were sold on eBay. This was a real shot in the dark. There were several times over the year and a half that I looked at these things, and I thought they weren't selling. Like I sold the one right away the oldest one, which I'll show you, um, didn't sell right away within a month or so. And then, and then the rest of them just sat for months and months and months. And I'm like, well, I made a hundred and what I make on this one. This is the first one that sold. I made $169 plus shipping 
I thought, well, that's a good deal. I got them for nothing. You know, I made a hundred and like, what it was, 150, 149, 147. I forget what it comes out to be in my pocket for something that was pretty local. But I thought, no, let me let me just leave them out there. I tweaked them every once in a while because eBay likes to see you making changes to your listings. Um, and then I sold one at about the four month mark. And for some reason, ever since what is it March now, ever since about December, they've been selling on a regular basis, meaning like I, I sold like one every couple of weeks. So we're talking about some serious money I made on these things that I bought, that I bought, that I got for free on Craigslist on a real whim on my part. Uh, many people would have passed them up. Like I said, I almost passed them up. So we got one sixty nine on this one. The shipping I charged was forty four ninety nine. Uh, it was a total guess on my part. Um, the problem with these was it seemed like they were all going up to the northwest, Washington, Oregon really far away. I'm in North Carolina. So it was really far away. Every one I shipped went for at least $39, if not more. No one, uh, none of them broke the $49.99 mark, but they were darn close. So I sold this one first. And I think this is the order it goes. And I actually, I forget. And then, right. This was another one I sold $149 again, $44.99. And it went out West. And I think only one went to the Midwest and then I sold this one for 99. Um, I priced them like this thing's got all this other stuff on it, neck blasters and stuff. Um, when I got them, they were pretty dirty. Uh, this, this unit has not, was not used in years and years and years and years. And they smelled like chlorine really bad. Um, I was sure I, I was, made it certain that I mentioned that in the listing may need additional cleaning and flushing. I did my best to clean it up. All I did was clean up the outside. So we had 169, 149. When did this one sell? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. 149, 169. There's 99. I priced them because there wasn't so much jet action going on that one. Did I test these out? No, I had no way of testing these out. Uh, 129 because it had all those jets on it. Um, and everyone I sold, no one returned any of them. They were thrilled with them. These last two here. No, here you go. These last two. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm a little confused. There's another one for 99. Um, this one jiggled around a little bit down in here, and I thought this was broken, but it wasn't. Once I looked it up, um, it's supposed to do that. It's supposed to do that. That little piece in there is supposed to move around. Um, these last two here. So, you know, I mean, just just by looking at the prices, I made some really darn good money on these. Um, these last two here, you'll see uh, 99 and then 99. This guy messaged me about a month ago. He's up in South Dakota. <laughs> He was real honest with me. He goes, man, I, I, I'll give you 200 bucks for, for, for those two you have. And I thought about it. And I'm going, man, it's going to cost me a fortune to ship these things. He wanted it, he wanted it for $200 with shipping included. And I thought, man, I'm, 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 you know. So I thought about it. I let it sit. I said, let me think about it. I let it sit for about two or three weeks. They weren't selling. They were just sitting there. And I thought, you know what? I've already made my money on these things. I'm going to still make money on something I got for nothing. So I, uh, I sold them, I packed them and I'll tell you how I packed them in a minute. I packed them and I squeezed them both into a box and uh, the total came to $52 or 53 or $54 for the two of them to be shipped in the one box. So I still made decent money. Uh, I think I made $120 on that, $130 on that deal. And he got them four days ago and I haven't heard anything back from him. He was willing to take a chance on it. He said, look, he was worried about the hoses. I, I, I don't know why he was so worried about the hoses, but he was asking me if they were flexible, if they were, you know, and these hoses are pretty stiff. I mean, I, I don't know what he was talking about. They're wire reinforced hoses. So I, 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 I'm like, well, they're, they're kind of flexible. They're 
wiry and forced. They're pretty hard. Um, but he got them, and I guess he's happy with them. I haven't heard anything back from him. And he bought them, and he said, look, I'm not going to return them. I'll take a chance. So that was good. Now, how did I pack these things? Excuse me. I did the old telescoping box. Um, I got a small, heavy-duty box from Lowe's Home Improvement. Got two of them. Taped the bottom of one. Put it in. Put some packing material in. Think on several of them. Several of them I used bubble wrap. Other ones I used foam I had laying around. I get a lot of stuff from furniture store dumpsters and get a lot of my packing stuff for free. Whatever it was, I put that on the bottom, put that in the box, kind of catty corner, like corner wise like this. Um, and then telescope the other box on top of it, you know, shoving it on top and squeezing it down to, to it meets the, um, oh, and I would also put packing material around it. And then I would once, um, obviously I put the box, I telescope the box on top. I'm sorry, packing material. And get it really close and more packing material on the top. Not going crazy with the packing material because that's a really heavy-duty box. And it would take a lot to really damage these things. I mean, it's really thick plastic. So I don't think they would even get damaged. But I like to pack them properly. Did that. Tape them up. Taped up where the where the two boxes met in the middle. I like to do a four-inch uh, width of tape. Somebody from FedEx years ago said it has to be four inches. I have no idea. I don't know. I haven't done, you know. There's times when I've done telescoping box. I didn't do four inches. I didn't say anything, but I just do it four inches. Make sure it's taped really well. Uh, make sure there's no movement in the box. Uh, measure it. And these go out. Uh, they never go out post office. It's going to be a fortune to send these out post office, USPS. These usually go out uh, FedEx or UPS. And that's how I pack them up. And, uh, they, and they get there pretty quick. And like I said, I haven't had one return on these things, which I am totally fine. So I made probably, <laughs> probably like $400 on a uh, free item on Craigslist that I took a gamble on. So don't be afraid to take a gamble on stuff you see for free on Craigslist. And like I said, I've, I've mentioned it before. Tell everybody what you're doing. You'll get a ton of free stuff there, too. Um Sometimes I get too much free stuff from somebody. I kind of do it as a goodwill thing if they're giving me stuff. I um, just um, throw the stuff I don't want away or, or, or drop the stuff off I don't want at a thrift store. Kind of a goodwill thing like, kind of, all right, I'll help you out. You're giving me all this stuff. But always tell people what you're doing. You'll be amazed what you get for free. Um, I've gotten printers. I've gotten brand new uh, large format printers in boxes for free and sold them for five $600. Um Lots of stuff out there people will give you because they, they don't have time to deal with it and they just want it out of their house. Everybody's downsizing now. A lot of minimalists out there, which is great. I wish I was one of them, but I'm not. Well, I hope this helped you out on uh, the <laughs> some of the weird things I sell. I just want to pass those on to you guys and uh, keep your eyes out on for those. Like I said, um, the guy that bought the last two for the $200 deal, he was like, yeah, it's pretty boring up here. So <laughs> So we, so we jump in the hot tub a lot. I said, all right, or the whatever this thing is, the hot tub thing. So I was just I was just laughing when that message when he sent it to me. I was, I was asking him, I was like, why am I selling these all in the Northwest? And that's what he said. It's not too much going on up here. All right. Hey, thanks so much. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you got something out of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hey, have a great day. Bye-bye.